325 million tons of petroleum enter the Earth's oceans every year. More than 500 species of wildlife depend on the San Francisco Bay, including the 23 endangered species, such as the California Club Rail and the salt marsh harvest mouse. Pollution in the bay is a very serious problem that most people aren't even remotely aware of. A program called Save the Bay estimates that over 1 million plastic bags end up in the bay every year. We all have a tendency not to look outside anywhere in comfortable lives and ignore the potential global crisis that exists right in front of us. The question on everyone's minds is, what are the worst causes of pollution that affect marine life in California and how can this be solved? What you're looking at is a rain garden. Mm -hmm. I mentioned um, that one of our big pollution problems is just the pollution that walks off, washes off uh, streets and sidewalks mm -hmm. and normally would just go straight into a storm drain, into a creek, into a bay. This water is going to come in, yes. about yes. two or three inches of water will collect here and soak into the soil. Some of it will cling to as these bushes and plants grow, go into this mulch, and it'll be some of the pollution will be filtered before it goes into this creek. Now there are increasingly requirements for this kind of thing. If you were to walk over here to University Village, mm -hmm. there's some very beautiful gardens that you see. In fact, you're looking at one of them right there mm -hmm. that are kind of sunken. Yeah. They do the same thing. Do you see that gravel parking yeah. space? Mm -hmm. That's new, and it's the same thing. Cars will drive there, they'll leak a little bit of oil, mm -hmm. um, and the oil will go into the ground instead of washing straight into the creek in the next rain. This is called, there are lots of words for it, low impact development, mm -hmm. doing something about non-point non source pollution, lots of terms. But the idea, rain garden is a nice mm -hmm. term, uh, is to kind of filter this urban toxic soup that comes out, out of what we do. And that's pretty new in the last 10 years. What do you do with your plastic bags after you've brought them home from the store? 24 out of 42 people said they store them under their sink for reuse later. 14 people said they recycle them, while only 3 people said they do not use plastic bags. Where is air pollution most common? 35 people said in and around urban areas where there are a lot of vehicles. 5 people said over large bodies of water. 2 people said in the Arctic. Well, no one said around forests where there are a few houses. How many species of wildlife do you think depend on the San Francisco Bay? 11.9% said 300, 2.38% said 50, and 42.86% said 500. What do you think is the worst pollutant? 16.67% said oil and sewage. 23.81% said trash, while 42.86% said air pollution. in the bay mm -hmm. and they're what's called legacy. They're left over from times when we didn't have any regulation as far back as the gold rush. Mm -hmm. So 
there are pretty large amounts of mercury mm -hmm. on the bottom of the bay. We have no really good way of getting that out. We have some other industrial pollutants. The combination of these makes the fish in the bay dangerous to eat in large quantities. Where in the bay area is the most pollution found? Mostly in rather industrial areas. I don't know all of them, but one example is the Richmond Ship Channel, a very industrial area. Uh, some places in the port of Oakland and San Francisco. They just have a tremendous amount of pollution and without uh, dredging up the whole bay bottom, uh, we can't. It's pretty easy if it's just one pipe to solve the problem. When it's everywhere, what do you do? Mm -hmm. There are some interesting things being done. Um, how is this affecting the marine life? The marine life in the bay uh, ha suffers a, a tremendous number of insults. Pollution is really just one. Mm -hmm. uh, dredging, uh, the changes in the amount of silt, uh, particularly probably invasive species that have displaced the native ones. It's hard to pin down just one, uh, something that is entirely due to pollution. But in some of these hot spots, there are actually fish that will be born with the wrong sex organs, deformed, that's very clearly. What should we do to spread awareness of pollution and how it affects the marine life? <laughs> um, you can talk to people, uh, you can join groups, there are many email lists that you can get on where you can support political action. You can form your own groups in your schools. Um, you can inform yourself so that when you talk about this kind of thing, you, you know what to say. And you're not spreading silly scare stories, but you do have... The best way to fight against the ever-growing problem of pollution is to spread awareness throughout the Bay Area. Pollution is choking the Bay, making the marine habitat shrink and become choked with trash. We need to show people that if the Bay continues to be abused as it is now, there will soon not be a Bay at all. All of the marine life will have disappeared forever from the area, and there will soon be no way to ever save them. The best way to fight against the ever-growing problem of pollution is to spread awareness throughout the Bay Area.